Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Squishy. Huge thanks to Squishy as well as all my other Patreons. I am deeply humbled that I have so many wonderful supporters. Squishy requested an X-Spell tribal deck led by Hinata Dawncrown with a budget of under $300. They normally go for cheaper decks, but this is their birthday month, so they wanted to splurge a little bit. Happy birthday, Squishy! But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hinata Dawncrown is a 4-mana 4-4 legendary Kirin Spirit with Flying and Trample. Spells we cast cost one less to cast for each target, while spells our opponents cast cost one more for each target. That's right, Hinata is a Praetor. Okay, not really, but they do give both a bonus and a stacks piece, just like the Praetors. So we want a bunch of spells that have multiple targets, as well as ways to protect our commander. Hinata can be backbreaking to some decks, so we want to keep it on board just to mess with our opponents. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Mystic Monastery, Rogram Triome, Steam Vents, Sacred Foundry, Hallowed Fountain, Training Center, Spectator Seating, Sea of Clouds, Storm Carved Coast, Sundown Pass, Deserted Beach, Sulphur Falls, Clifftop Retreat, Glacial Fortress, Volatile Fjord, Alpine Meadow, Glacial Floodplain, Molten Tributary, Sacred Peaks, Scavenger Grounds, Eight Islands, Four Mountains, and Three Plains. Reality Spasm, Battlefield Thaumaturge, Stormkiln Artist, Kaikar Winds Fury, Dockside Extortionist, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Creativity, Talisman of Conviction, Talisman of Progress, Is It Signet, Boros Signet, and the Zorius Signet make up our mana ramp package. Disorder in the Court, Whirlwind of Thought, Archmage Emeritus, Feather the Redeemed, Archaeomancer, Mavinda Student's Advocate, Ardent Elementalist, Teferi's Ageless Insight, Mystical Tutor, Open into Wonder, Windfall, Compulsive Research, and Elsha of the Infinite allow us to dig through our deck. Curse of the Swine, By Force, Heliod's Intervention, Sublime Epiphany, Magma Opus, Mass Manipulation, Negate, Unwind, Crush Contraband, Rewind, Volcanic Offering, Generous Gift, Commit Memory, Swords to Plowshares, Baral's Expertise, Aethergale, Counterspell, Dovin's Veto, Ghostly Prison, and Propaganda. As you can see, most of those spells have multiple targets or are mana positive with our commander. Distorting Wake, Farewell, and Blasphemous Act help to reset the board as needed. Comet Storm, March of Swirling Mist, 
Crackle with Power, Illithid Harvester, Meteor Blast, and Expansion Explosion make up our X spells. Ovika Enigma Goliath gives us a bunch of blockers. Magnus the Red pairs very well with what our commander is trying to do. Lear, Disciple of the Drowned, is another stacks piece. Semester's End and Eerie Interlude to protect our commander. Metallurgic Summonings is an optional win condition. Finally, Thousand Year Storm serves to help close out games. As a reminder, X's value is zero unless it is on the stack. So a card like Crackle with Power has a mana value of two when it's in your hand, in your library, or in the graveyard. But while it is on the stack, X is whatever you want it to be, provided you have the mana to pay for it. Which means if we cast a couple of spells to up our storm count, our big X spells are now obscene because they're copied. Trust me, Expansion Explosion is a lot more fun when you have five copies of it on the stack. Now, let's compare our deck list to our checklist and see how we did. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, counting our commander. Right on target. 13 pieces of card advantage. 20 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. 1 sudden I win card in reality spasm combined with any of our big damage X spells. Let us assume we can produce 7 mana through lands and rocks. Not hard for this deck. And that Hinata is on board. We tap out, cast Reality Spasm, then untap all of our seven lands and rocks. We have five mana remaining. We tap out again, all of a sudden, we can cast Mass Manipulation to steal nine creatures or planeswalkers, putting us so far ahead that we should win shortly afterwards. Remember, overall, this isn't a proper Spellslinger deck. We're not gonna be copying a bunch of spells and going infinite. Instead, we're looking for big, splashy spells that we can cast for cheap. You kind of sit back, protect our board, ramp and draw cards, then win out of nowhere on turn 8 or 9. Your opponents won't like having a commander like Hinata on board, because it will mess with their plans. So make sure you've got protection in hand before you slam them on the battlefield. But, if you have patience and wait for the opportune moment, you can win out of nowhere. Do you have a Hinata deck? What about an X-Spell Tribal deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Brian, Josh, Sean, and Zach. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danan. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.